A gimbal camera bag, is there something like this? Yes there is. Or just a bag that holds all your camera stuff and a couple of gimbals like the Crane 3 Lab here or the Weevil S. If you're gonna go out and buy a camera bag specifically used for carrying your gimbal as well, there's a couple of things you have to take into consideration when buying this bag. Here I have two of the bags that I use when I use gimbals and why I chose these two bags and what you have to look at when going out and buying a gimbal camera bag. Here we go. So before we start, I just want to say a huge thanks to all of you who subscribe to this channel. It is highly appreciated and I really love uh, the comments and helping you guys out with any of your gimbal questions. And of course, if you're new here, remember to hit the little subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. So let's get into this Weebless camera bag tutorial. All right, so first off, we got gimbal bag and size. When buying a bag for your gimbal, it's very important that you take into consideration the bag and the gimbal size. Is the gimbal small enough to go in the bag or do you need a bag that is capable of strapping it on the outside of the bag? All right, then we got purpose of use. What are you using the bag for? Is it for production stuff? Then you might go with the Love Pro Pro, Pro Tactic 450 where you can strap everything on the outside, you can have an extra gimbal on the inside, two cameras, and a lot of extra stuff. Or are you traveling around or using it for vlogging? Then I would consider going with the Douchebag, the Backpack Pro, with the CIA, uh, which is right here. Then we got weather. Is the bag weather resistant or can it repel water of some kind? You might live somewhere where water is not a problem or snow and you might not have this issue but for many of us we live somewhere or we travel to places where it might rain and we don't want water to getting into the bag. So look at the zippers, are they waterproof, are they watertight, is there a cover you can pull over the bag uh, or can you buy something that you can make that, that, that will make your, your camera bag weather sealed. Then there's compatibility. Is the bag compatible with other bags like the Backpack Pro here where you got the ICU I can take out. I can also strap this bag to any of my other douche bags which is a key thing when I'm traveling because then I don't have to carry this one on my back all the time. I can just put it on my roller bag and roll along. Or can you strap anything on the outside of the bag? Is there space for a tripod, a gimbal, or any other accessories that doesn't fit in the bag? This is something that is really important when you're looking at a gimbal camera bag. So I've been through so many camera bags uh, that it is unbelievable that I haven't found the perfect one. But right here, I got the two camera bags that I use right now and have been using for the past year. And they have two different purposes. The uh, Love Pro Pro Tactic 450 is my production workhorse. And the douchebag, the Backpack Pro is for travel, lifestyle and everyday stuff because I can have a camera, a drone and a gimbal in this bag and then I can take the ICU here out and just use it for normal stuff like going to the gym or just carrying everyday things in this bag. 
So let's go a bit deeper into the two bag systems that I'm using here and let me show you how I carry it and what I use it for. Let's start with the uh, Love Pro Pro Tactic and then we'll swap over to the uh, douchebag, the Backpack Pro after that one. So the Love Pro Pro Tactic is a big backpack and it can definitely take a lot of stuff. As you can see, I have a gimbal on the outside. On the side, I have the dual handle grip and on the other side, I have the extension arm for the gimbal. And I've actually uh, modified the bag a bit. I took out the rain cover because it, it kept falling over like whoops. And because the rain cover is in the bottom of the bag and it's actually not big enough for uh, getting over the bag when I have the gimbal on. So I had another one from my Evo bag. It's in this compartment now. Then I can just take it out and pull this all the way over the bag. And as I said, when I've done this, it is protected from the element. So now I got a weather protected uh, bag on my gimbal won't break when it, it gets a little bit wet and I can easily fold it up and put it back into the little um, compartment on the side. As I said, we're gonna take the crane three lap off so we can get into the back. There we go, put this one there. So we put it down on the front and open it up. Oof, did you hear that? That's yeah, that's YKK Sippers. And why did I say YKK? Because YKK Sippers is the best you can get out there. They are not possible to break, of course, yeah. But it's the best ones you can get. Um, so let's take a look at what's in the bag. So as you can see right here, this is the camera bag. The gimbal goes right here. So in this bag, I got the Weeble S, I got one camera here, I got another camera there, I got a microphone, a extra lens, got my headphones, I got all the small parts and arms for the, for the gimbal, I got a monitor, and so on. So a full production set in this gimbal, in this bag, and two gimbals, one inside and one on the outside. So if you want to see my full review of this camera bag, you can go back and see that. I will link it in the card above and in the description below. Yes. So the Love Pro Pro Tactic 450. Close it up. Yes, YKK Sippers. Let's just jump over to the Backpack Pro from Douchebag, which is a great bag and it's black. I like this bag a lot, it looks sleek. It doesn't come with YKK zippers, but here on these zippers, they are waterproof, water sealed, and the fabric on the outside is very water repellent. So I don't have to put anything rain cover-ish over this bag. But the great thing about this bag is that I can adjust it to my needs. I can take everything out, use it as a normal bag, but let me show you how I carry one, <clears throat> one camera, one drone, and a gimbal in this bag. And of course, on the side here, there is space for my laptop. 13 inch, a 15 or 16 inch can easily be stored in here as well. In the top, I have a compartment for sunglasses or other stuff you will have to put in here. So, in the main compartment of this bag, and the difference between this one and the Love Pro is you open this from the top, and the Love Pro you go in from the back. So, when I open it up, there's a couple of pockets here. I have my gimbal sitting right here, and it's there because it's the only place I can put it when it's inside the bag, so it's weather protected. Gimbal up. Then I have the tripod leg for the gimbal. It's actually the one I put on top, but right now we'll put it here. Then I have the monitor, um, field monitor mount for the gimbal as well. And in here I have the whole ICU, which I can take out and 
use this backpack for something else. Or if I, if I had bought something extra, uh, I could put it in the bag and just hold this one in the hand. Or I could also strap this on the outside of my 60 liter roller bag and the same I can do with this bag. And that comes with all of the douche bags. They have this hook system so you can hook everything up um, on the bags. And I got all the bags and I travel only with those bags so I know this system works so well. But in the ICU here, take the bag away. Good thing about this, you can open it halfway, so you can only grab your camera. Uh, and in this bag here, I got a full travel kit. Monitor for the drone, monitor for my gimbal, got a camera, extra lens, microphone, drone, extra battery, the uh, <clears throat> base plate for the gimbal, controller, everything, extra propellers, SD cards, everything goes in this little pouch here. So that is the Backpack Pro and it's great for travel, walking, lifestyle stuff. It's nice, it looks great, it's sleek. It's just a great bag. All right, so that is all I got for you today with these backpacks. We have been over the Love Pro Pro Tactic and the Douchebag, the Backpack Pro. Um, if you want to see more Weeble S videos, I got a whole series of the Shoe and Weeble S. And there is tutorials, tips and tricks, hacks. And I will link some of them down below here. And then of course, I hope you will find the perfect backpack for your gimbal. I will link everything that I use in this video down below, but if I'm missing something, just comment in the, in the comment section and I will reply as fast as I can. So with that said, if you're new here, remember to subscribe and hit the little bell button and you'll get notified as soon as I upload a new video. And I do that every Sunday. That is it guys, thanks for watching and I will see you back here next time. Thank you.